Thai was a revolutionary art movement that changed the art world. This movement was open-minded and consisted of a variety of experiments with art and the material. Hiro Yoshihara joined forces with other Japanese artists in 1954 to change the relationship between the artist and their material. The word kutai translates literally to tool body or body tool, which signified embodiment or concreteness to Yoshihara. An important step with Gutai's movement is the idea of letting the material express itself. Not to impose your will on the material, but rather to work with the material to create a work of art. By allowing oneself to work with the material, one inevitably creates a strong or intense relationship that exceeds other artists and art styles. Gutai artists directly interacted with the material using unconventional tools such as their bodies. Direct interaction with the material was something that was not commonly found in art before Gutai. Hiro Yoshihara was the founder of the Gutai Art Group in 1954. He created many of the most well-known artworks by the Gutai. Yoshihara also created installation pieces. One of the most famous is Room. In this piece, he suspended blue and red fabric in the air. The suspension of the fabric allowed for the material to be in a state for it to express itself. This piece was done during one of the earliest art shows that the Gutai were featured in in 1956. The suspended installation is also seen as an inspiration for later art movements. Another work that was also done in 1956 was Yoshihara's well-known interactive piece, Please Draw Freely. In this piece, it called on passerby to paint whatever they wanted on the massive canvas. The Gutai have the advantage of a very high vast array of artistic freedom allowed for their work and their environment. Shozo Shimamoto was the co-founder of the Gutai Group. His works are still featured in galleries today. One of his most famous pieces was called Work, done in 1962, in which he filled bottles with paint and hurled them at the canvas. This piece lacked an artist's touch and fully allowed the material to take its own form, much like many pieces by the Gutai. This freedom of the paint taking its own form may remind us of Jackson Pollock's process years before. Another work by Shimamoto done in 1956 was cannon painting, which was like a performance piece in which she used a five meter long cannon to shoot paint onto a canvas. This piece, much like his bottle painting, allows for the paint to take its own form with minimal invasion from the artist. Kazuo Shiaga is one of the most prominent Gutai artists. He is well known for his paintings in which he uses his feet as the paintbrush. He came up with this process in 1954. It involves Kazuo hanging from rope and smearing paint with his feet around the canvas. His wife also assisted him by throwing the paint on the canvas for him. While, his, while painting with his feet, Shiaga was unable to see the composition of the works. This is one of the few elements that makes his work special. He had no control over the final outcome, so it became more about the process and Kazuo's relationship with the material. He is also well known for rolling around in mud to create an artwork. This piece was also about the process and Chiraga's relationship with the material. Millie Brown is a contemporary artist who creates her paintings by drinking a concoction of milk and paint pigment. She then throws up the colored vomit onto a white canvas or even herself. Brown says she used to throw up just on herself and then she opted for a longer lasting result, so chose to make her art on canvas. These abstract paintings made from her vomit, which resemble watercolor art, sell for thousands of dollars. Brown spends up to hours at a time in her studio drinking massive glasses of colored milk and inducing Thorup to create these interesting works. She has even caught the attention of Lady Gaga and was featured in a performance actually throwing up on Gaga.
I started doing performance art when I was 17. I lived in an art collective in Peckham in South London and I decided that I wanted to use my body to create art. So I came up with this concept of painting from the inside out. So I came up with the concept of vomiting a rainbow. get upset about you know thinking that it glamorizes bulimia but it's completely the opposite and I want to challenge people's you know to question the idea of classic beauty and femininity. Leon is a Korean artist. His paintings process include yelling at his canvas while he paints. He believes that yelling at the paint while dragging it across the canvas allows for a smooth line. Leon says that the yelling sounds like pain which allows for the paint to be applied to the canvas in its smoothest form. There are also different types of screaming, which are applied for different lines, such as terror, sara, or even unbearable confusion. But at the end, all the screams allow for his art to have a unique relationship with his material. So. <laughs> Xing Chen is a Chinese artist who uses his eyes to paint, literally. Chen is a painter and calligraphy artist who places a flat piece of metal under his eyelids and then continues to drag the brush across the paper. Some of these paintbrushes can weigh up to 4.4 pounds. Because of the pain that is caused by this process, it allows for an interesting relationship between the artist and his material. Dean Antoni is a contemporary artist who creates work in performance, sculpture, and photography. One of Antoni's most famous works is called Love and Care, in which she placed her hair in ink and whipped it around and used it as a mop in order to paint a gallery floor. She performed this piece in London in 1993. Because she allowed the material to be only manipulated by her hair, it shows her working with the material and allowed for an artist-material relationship. This process also allowed for little control over the ink. This lack of control may remind us of Shimamoto's bottle throwing. The piece is now an installation at the London Gallery that she performed today. Hansen is also a performance artist whose work may remind us of Antony. Hansen is a dancer as well as an artist and she combines these two passions into one to create a performance-based art that also leaves her with beautiful drawings. In order to make these large symmetrical drawings, Hansen either sits or lays on the floor with charcoal in both hands and draws using both her hands simultaneously on either side of her body. Hansen certainly uses her body as a tool here and her process creates a direct interaction with the material. Both themes are reminiscent of the Gutai artists. 